<laughs> Thank you. My name is Andrew, and I'm here to talk to you all about upright bass. So, the piece I just played for you all is called Bonaparte Across the Alps. It's a common fiddle tune that you'd find at square dances and contra dances alike throughout the Appalachian region. Usually not in such a fashion, though. So, the bass is a type of instrument that you'll find all around the world in numerous genres, not always in the form of an upright, but in an instrument that holds the low end down, that defines the rhythm, the chords, the tempo, the feel of the song overall. It lays a solid foundation so that the soloists and singers can do what they do. Now, the upright, though, can be found in a handful of different genres. A lot of people are used to seeing it in classical music, where it's played in the arco style, aka the bow, if you do not grow up playing classical music. So, something like this. You can also find it in the jazz and pop styles, where instead of being bowed, you'll find it played in a pizzicato or pluck style, where you take your Fonzie finger gun right here, you put it to the fretboard, let the string vibrate that way. Now, a lot of their walks sound something like this. But what I do for a living is that I play bluegrass, country, old time, and Americana music. The things that I actually grew up playing in the Appalachian region. And more often than not do I find myself, you know, playing just like that. But every once in a while, I play a lesser known style, like you saw on the front, called slap upright, where instead of playing like that, I take two or three of my fingertips, and I put it right under the string like that, and I pull the string out and let it snap against the fretboard, which I immediately then follow with the namesake slap noise with my hand doing that. This is a style developed in the early 20th century as a way for the bass to project in big bands, as it usually was the quietest instrument in the group. And over the decades, it's been refined into a soloing style as well. Modern masters such as Junior Husky, Roy Husky Jr., uh, Mike Bubb, and the lady that I learned from, Ruth McLean, have really turned this into a way to express yourself. You know, and I, to do this though, I use three main slaps. And I feel very honored to describe this to you all professionally in food. So, first off, we do the single slap, which goes pair, 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 pair. Then we go on to the double, which goes pair, apple, pair, apple, pair, apple, pair, apple, pair, apple, pair, apple, pair. And then we go on to the triple, which I just find to be a little bit bananas. Banana, banana, nana, banana, banana, nana, banana, banana, nana, ba. And in combination, I use this to mimic the melody or play it exactly of fiddle tunes and other melodies as well. The reason I do this for my own sake is that the bass is such a low instrument that it's really hard to play melodies exactly without them just sounding really mushed together. So by playing the slap style, it allows me to play the main points of the melody while I let the slaps cover up the passing tones, the less important notes, the notes that get me to the good notes. You know? You know, so instead of doing this, where I would play the melody all the way around like, Well, not that exciting. I could play it like this. Which to me, no pun intended, pops a little bit more. <laughs> so, before I go into my last piece, I would like to challenge everyone in the audience to look at what you do professionally and find a way to turn it on its head. Figure out what your job actually is and how can you innovate? How can you turn it on just do a 180, you know? For me, most of the time, I am a bass player. I find myself to be the foundation for the group. But 
Every once in a while, I get to take the front because of the style that I've developed, and I get to solo for a little while. Now, I would challenge everyone to do the same. Now, the last piece that I'm going to play for you is a medley of fiddle tunes. Uh, they're all in D, if you're playing along. And it's Angeline the Baker, into Martha Campbell, into Whiskey Before Breakfast. Thank you all so much. <laughs> 